Hello everyone and welcome back to another exciting episode of Jator Plays. And where we left off, we were in the garage at Blaskowitz's old home. And I was going to head down here. All the loots is gone. I did grab that loots before, but then my game crashed. So we're going to continue on. Uh, I bet you this is a dog. Oh, no. These are so sad. Poor BJ. Poor Bessie. And poor BJ. Billy, Billy, Billy. What else we got here? <clears throat> Ooh, a tree. We'll go to the tree. What's supposed to be here? Sorry, it was just creepy. The sounds of the trees. Billy? Yeah? Yeah, Billy? Can I tell you a secret? <laughs> okay. Promise not to tell anyone? Yeah, okay. You're cute, and I like you. I think you're very handsome, and I like you. Got it! Kind of. <laughs> oh! Are you out there somewhere, Billy? Inclined to this day? To endure amongst the living? Good old BJ. He's a poet, that guy. Oh, whoop. The way I see it, we got two options. Either I pay good money for a new concert watch, or you go down the well in the wheel. What a jerk. I hate that guy. Cockroaches. Can I smash him? Smash. No. They just disappear. Mama! Daddy! What's the goddamn rush? Oh, man. And in Howie, they followed me. They, they pinned me down. They took my pocket knife. What the hell is wrong with you? You let them take your property? They're going to walk all over you till there's nothing left. Now, I gave you that pocket knife. It was in your care. It's your responsibility. I will speak to their parents. You will do no such thing, Sophia. Oh, you're going to let your mommy fight your battles for you, are you, boy? Now, you go on out there and take back what's yours, and you are not setting foot in this house again until you do. <laughs> What a jerk. Aw, 
I'll take that. Aunt Wilma's letter. Dearest Rip, I hope that you're holding up well and cooperating with our new administration. I must say, things are looking much brighter for us now. Your uncle has been promised a new job by the regime. A janitor at the new SS building in a city center. He's very excited. It's a far cry from the machine operator job he used to have before he was fired all those years ago, but it puts bread on the table. So, how's Sophia? I imagine that she's worried now, considering the circumstance. I hear the Germans have some issues with the Jews. I bet if she cooperates with them, everything will be okay. Anyway, hope we can visit you again this summer. Love, Aunt Wilma. Uh, woman, if you only knew how bad of a dude he was. You probably do. Uber Commandant Weschler's letter. Her Rip Blaskowitz. Thank you for expressing your willingness co to cooperate with us. The more information you provide us with, Jews and Deviants, their location and so forth, the more rewards you will get for showing your loyalty. There may even be a chance to get a new place for you. In the future, I suspect there will be many vacant mansions that need to be occupied the, by those who are loyal to the Reich. I will look into these Frank and Archibald characters that were troubling you. Looking forward to hearing from you again, Herr Blaskowitz. Heil Hitler, Uber Commandant Eric Welsher. Uh. I got lost for a second. Man, there's all sorts of cool stuff. Fragment of old news article. The larger the mob, the harder the test. In small areas before small electorates, a first-rate man occasionally fights his way through, carrying even the mob with him by force of his personality. But when the field is nationwide and the fight must be waged chiefly at second and third hand, and the force of personality cannot so readily make itself felt, then all the odds are on the man who is, intrinsically, the most devious and mediocre, the man who can most easily adeptly disperse the notion that his mind is a virtual vacuum. The presidency tends year by year to go to such men. As democracy is perfected, the office represents more and more closely the inner soul of the people. We move toward a lofty ideal. On some great and glorious day, the plain folks of the land will reach their heart's desire at last, and the White House will be adorned by a downright moron. Huh. Not yet. Uh, let's see here. Ooh. Oh boy. I'll be in the grave rotting away, and still a better daddy than you. Truer words have never been said. What's that? Nice weapon upgrade. I'll take that. What is it? Oh. Cigarettes are bad for you. Okay. Young Billy's note. The paper is bloodstained and wrinkled. I swear I will be good boy. I swear I will not disobey my father. I swear I will clean up my room. I swear I will clean up the dishes. I swear I will act like a goddamn man. I swear I will not disgrace my people. This text was written by an adult. Billy Blaskowitz. The name was written by a child. Hmm. Is that it? That's all we found. There. Well, looks like we're gonna go up the stairs. Hey, it's my room. BB pellets. I had a BB gun. Son, I have tried reasoning with you. I've tried smacking sense into you till the cows come home and nothing is working. Every night you wake me up with these noises. 
no matter how many times I try to tell you, there are no monsters in our basement. It's you. I'm sorry, Daddy. At night, I see them. Clear as daylight. I'm coming to kill Mama. All right. Here's what we're going to do. You take this. Wow. And you and I are going down into the basement, and any monsters that show up, we shoot them dead right between their eyes. Sometimes the best way to fix a problem is to face it head on. You with me? Yes, Daddy. Sophia, you in on this? You see them? No, Daddy. The monsters are gone. This is what a real father should do. I reckon if you do no wrong, ain't no monster gonna come after you, son. You think we scared them off for good this time? May I keep the gun? That's a good memory of Dad. That was a touching one, too. That's what a dad should be like. Help your son face your fears. Looks like the end of this here level. Smell like mama? There's a ring in there. Yeah, boy. <laughs> Place is gone to shit. Oh, man. I ain't been down here in nearly a decade. I own a 2,000 acre ranch up by Forney Lake now. I heard on the radio you'd been sighted up near Roswell. I figured you might show up here. I'm in this house with bad memories. So why'd you come? You need a place to hide? You need money? You're nope. barking up the wrong tree, son. Far too late to come begging now. Ain't nothing you can offer to make up for what you've done to us. I think of my father, I see a fuck you and a fist flying in my face. When'd you ever do right by me? <clears throat> Disobedient, ungrateful, sense like a flat tire, and a mouth like a sewer. Oh, I saw where you was headed. I've been down that hole myself. And I guarantee goddamn to you, I did all in my might to pull you out. What more do you want from me? I wanted you to treat me like I mattered. Like I wasn't some piece of dog shit got stuck on your shoe. I did my damnedest with you. Truth is, you were broke beyond fixing. What are you, some sort of super killer terror bomber now? Yep. You're on the wrong side, buddy. All them years, I was banging my head into the wall. You caused this, buddy. Coming to see that everyone was against me. And when the Nazis took over, things got a lot better. You play by their rules, you can do very well for yourself. Ask anyone around these parts. Blaskowitz is a name of renown and respect. Everything you touch turns to shit, and I do not need your stink on my name. Wanted murderer. Run off to the army as soon as you come of age. Broke your mother's heart. Where is she? Yeah, where is she? She's gone. 
When? What happened? What happened is we had a big goddamn war, and now we got a new government with new rules. They took her. She gone. And what's that queer outfit you're wearing? What do you mean they took her? They rounded up all the Jews and the coloreds and the queers. This is a white man's world now. White man's got to keep it Christian. You sold her out. So what? Wife made a living bemoaning me and raised a boy into a murderer. Well, I always saw you for what you are. Ten pounds of shit in a five-pound bag. On your knees. Daddy, I'm your son. Down on your fucking knees. Bad idea, Daddy. It was a time I was scared of you. It was a time I'd have pissed myself had a gun pointed at my head. You know what I feel right now? Not a goddamn thing. Nope. Who'd you call? <laughs> I heard everything. Oh boy. Who in the hell'd you call? Time to find my way out of this. Oh. What the... Gotta disable these claws. story. Oh boy. Captured again. So is the BJ Blaskowitz way. Oh man, 
you're dead. You just don't know it yet. Jeez. Not my problem, it's Cezanne. Oh, Christ. Will you just give us some privacy, please? <laughs> oh, you look like an ass. Oh, thanks. Fuck. Looks like you're at death's door. Seriously, this is not a good look for you. Yep. Anyway, listen. Uh, your trial's coming up in a couple of weeks, and after that, they're going to execute you, and that whole charade's going to be televised to every living room on the planet. Okay. So instead of that bullshit going down, we're going to break you the fuck out of here right now. It's kind of a risky plan, but the security they have around you is out of this world. So it's kind of the only play we got, all right? I mean, the hoops I had to jump through to get to you, and I'm your fucking lawyer. That pissed me off. Hey, what I'm going <laughs> to do is I'm going to make like you attacked me, and when the guard pig comes in looking for your ass, I'm going to sneak up behind him and I'm gonna shove this little number right into the base of his skull. I'm gonna grab his keys and his gun, and I'm gonna roll you right on out to the elevator, <laughs> popping Nazis wherever they show up, straight down the garage, where boom, body and Anya and everyone else has the getaway car. Okay. Okay, you ready? Yeah. Let's get this freak show on the road. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck! That hurts so bad. You don't even know. Let's get this fucking gag thing off you. All right. Once we hit the street, it's all car chases and flying bullets. They got tanks outside, man. We got some tricks up our sleeve, though. If we make it that far. We make it. The hard part is getting down to the garage. Hey! Help! Help! Open the door! He fucking attacked me, man! He broke my nose, and then he got out through that door right there! Fucking terror Billy! He's on the loose! Stay back. And, and, he, and he had help. Uh, they, they came in right through that door, and they broke him out. It was space aliens, man! <laughs> oh, shit. Schmidt! Gott! Zimmermann! Sie haben Talent! Sie sollten zum Film gehen, bei Helene vorsprechen! Guter Schuss, General! Der zuckt noch! 
<laughs> oh, <laughs> man. Idiot. He was dead as soon as he walked into the building. Oh, you are getting it. Tapfer, kleiner Liebling. Ich bin dein und du bist mein. Liebling, so lieblich. Open your mouth. No. Open. Open it. That's it. How does it taste? Shh. How does it taste? The gunpowder of the bullet that killed your friend. How does it feel? Do you love the taste? Oh! <laughs> you hear that? It's my attack force. Oh, no. Moving in on your friends in the garage. You're so proud of wife. They're gonna go down there now and join in on the fun! Anya. My family. Weeks pass. Or more. Feel myself slipping away. Got me praying for the end. For theft and destruction of public and private property. Aiding the enemy. Torture. Terrorism, including nuclear, both domestic and abroad. Yep. And high treason. Sure. For gruesome murders that number in the thousands, yep. you have been found guilty, Mr. William Joseph Blaskowitz. Okay. It is rare, even for a man of my job description, to come face to face with true evil. And it pains me that the maximum sentence that I can bestow upon you is something as trivial death? as death. Death, Mr. Blaskowitz. Nothing but swift, sheer death. Bailiff. Do 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 do. And spring. Swift death. For who? I ran out of ammunition. Oh no. <laughs> well, God damn it. Why can't I pick up weapons? Oh. Hello. Do it. Damn it. Why are you such good at? So good at aiming.
You. Son of a bee. To escape. <laughs> Mom. What? Oh, my son. I thought I lost you, Mom. I thought I'd never see you again. Oh, Billy. Life is full of unexpected things. Some make you cheerful. And some break your heart. Oh, boy. I wasn't there when you needed me. I ran out on you. It hurts so much, Billy. It felt like my heart was being ripped out of my chest when you left. But all hardship is temporary. Do you know this? Most of it is inevitable. I had to stay behind so that you could leave. And now you are the one in trouble. Do not worry for me. My troubles are over, my son. <clears throat> I don't want to go back out there. I can't do this anymore. You are strong, Billy. We are survivors, you and I. We keep fighting even when we do not know how. You cannot help but be my son. I'm having twins, Mom. They're not born yet. I want to see them. I wanted you to see them. We will be together soon. You 
just have one more hardship to Body. Tony, you're breaking my heart. The old and the weak are doomed. That body and the sub is mine. Oh. Oh boy. Oh man. We have less than seven seconds. Okay. Ready? Steady. Marks for button. Grab it! Oh, I'm not. No. Hurry. We have three seconds. We need to give his brain oxygenated blood or it will die. Transport! this latest generation biologically engineered super soldier body from a Nazi scientific lab. Okay. Very, very impressive specimen. Anil, please show this to him. Look, William, Seth is going to attach this to build the connection between your head and your new body. Father, my family. Come and help me here. Now, Bye. These are very rare Nazi <laughs> I know how you feel. <laughs> Our fight is found in the field. None of them is working, but I have enough material to fix one contraption. You should decide which one you want. You can choose. Blink once, 
for this one, blink twice, for the one in the middle, blink three times for that over there. Constrictor harness will compress your torso on activation, allowing you to enter into narrow spaces. Using a harness prevents you from breathing properly. Prolonged use will cause damage eventual death due to lack of oxygen. When moving in crouch, the constrictor harness activates automatically when applicable. Hmm. A metal reinforced rig protecting your upper body joints, elbow, and shoulders. The ramshackles allow you to ram through obstacles, smash open doors, crates, and pummel your enemies. Ramshackles will, act, will be active when you are sprinting. A mechano, mechanical actuator system that is mounted on your legs and activated on demand. Once activated, mechanical supports extend, allowing you to access new areas, vertical covers, or other tactically advantageous positions. Double press the jump button to activate the battle walkers. Well, of course. <clears throat> okay, Yingle, let's get to work. I will sedate you. Okay. See you soon. Yep. Mwah. To me when you're done. Uh, no, have you seen Ketzelbe? Where's the Gizin? Where's the Gizin? Shim Shim. I get the Shim Shim. Where's the Blasco Beach? How I look? Like a new man, Yankle. A new man. Oh, I look at you. I'm so happy you're back. Now, this same thing Shoshana has. There's no, 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 no. This connects your head to your body. Very, very important not to fiddle with this. Now, you might feel some weird tingling sensation, not to worry, it's normal. But let me know if anything else happens. For example, your head trying to reject your new body, something like this. It's hot! It's, it's hot! It's hot. <laughs> I feel the same way. prepared the contraption you wanted. Put it on. Let's see what you can do with it. That's right, Mr. Blaskovich. Now, engage the battle walkers to reach to the top of the wall and climb over. Yes, Shimshin. Now, use the battle walkers to reach up and over this wall. Yes, Mr. Blaskovich. Yes! Now, experiment with the training course until you have familiarized yourself with your new ability. Whoa. Should get to work on upgrading my weapons. Yeah, I should. K 
Caroline. Thank you. Take back your wings. I don't need them anymore. Hi. You know, it's, it's remarkable to see you here standing in front of me. It's just astonishing. Your detention and public execution were the most well-guarded events in television history. They're protected by the full might of the Nazi war machine. And so you're standing here in front of me. You know why? Now, the only reason you are standing here is Anya. That's what I heard. She never gave up. No, this girl never gave up. When Grace's plan to rescue you uh, failed, Anya remembered what I accomplished with Shoshana. Asked me whether I can do the same thing for you. She was the one who brought into my attention the super soldier, biologically engineered bodies. She even reclaimed all of the weapons you lost at the ruins of the farm. Nice. She is relentless, this girl. She's a keeper. Yeah, yeah. All the ammunitions I can get. Nice. The lab is locked. way to feed propaganda to the people like that terror billy movie they're making i promise you not one word from the truth they'll sell it as if it was maybe i write movies mm, maybe you write book hmm hi Oh, Bleskovich, I saw what she did to you on the television broadcast. Oh, it was horrible. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry a thousand times. But now I really have to be. <laughs> I'm so happy to see you alive again. Might want to light a match or something. <laughs> to get some rest before we arrive at New Orleans. Mm, just such a long ride. I need a few minutes. Can you put your arms around me, William? Sure. I met him on you. I seen him and I wasn't afraid no more. Oh, William. And your mother? Exactly what Super Smash said. Mm. Hey, mm. you never answered my question. Which one? Is this real? Or am I in heaven? And she's sleeping. <laughs> exhausting getting your head out. 
middle of Nazi territory. Hey, Piggy. Hmm. Nothing new in here. Should go see if Grace has a job for me. Max Oz. Put this new body to good use. Here we go, Max. And get some sleep. Alright, buddy. Oh. What do we got going on down here? Hi. Hey, B. What's up? Super Special was a crazy son of a bitch. Always yapping about space aliens and whatnot. Fuck. I am gonna miss that white boy. <laughs> On the way to New Orleans? Yep. What is it that we are doing in New Orleans? Don't know. Some shit. <laughs> I listen to Grace speak, but she speaks too fast for me. There is resistant fighters in New Orleans? About right. Okay. Maybe they will help us fight the Nazis. Would that not be great? Word. You do not speak a lot, Connie. Do you know? I know. What happened to you when the bomb hit New York? You, you don't want to hear it. You can tell me, Connie. Nothing to tell. No, I think you haven't told your story to anyone. Maybe it will help you feel better to talk about it. Papa, he told me it's not good to keep feelings inside. The sad feelings, they need to come out into the open, and, and then you see they're not so big and scary after all. All right. All right, sirens. We're rigging. Taking shelter in subway. Ceiling caved in. When bomb hit, woke up, smoke, fire, all around, dead bodies, arms and legs, blind people staggering, screams and crying, air smelling of burnt hair, dad's face melted off from the bones, mom is on fire trying to stand up on broken feet, mm. my little brother crushed under a concrete block blood pooling on the railway tracks. <clears throat> then, quiet. Oh, the fan make it hell better. I'm so very sorry, Connie. Does it feel better to talk about no. it? No. No. <laughs> oh, okay. I will stop disturbing you then. Later. Oh, boy. Things are locked. People will just appear out of nowhere. In West Virginia, earlier reports concerning riots following the nuclear terrorist attack have been confirmed false. Official sources have now confirmed that the riots were actually a peaceful anti-terrorism demonstration. In other news, was Terror Billy's last victim his own father? Shortly after the execution of terrorist leader William Joseph Blaskowitz, the body of a male stabbing victim was uncovered at Terror Billy's childhood home in Mesquite, Texas. It's true. Last guy I killed. In Warsaw, we have lots of spice on food. Yes? Hello, Captain Blaskowitz. Hi. Mr. Blaskovich, I require your help. Do you? I have a friend, Mr. Stabilis. He forgot to take brain medication pills, and now he's mad in head. To old crew quarters he went, refusing to come out. He took sets microwave traps, using them to keep everyone away. We need to get him out of there quickly so I can give him medication pills okay. for his brain. Okay. 
Well, I'll take care of it. In the next episode of Jator Plays.